Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are playing with filter baskets. If you are regular to this channel, you know that so far my favorite filter basket has been Waffle Soul Spirit. I had this one for a while, I put it against many other baskets and still up to this day, this one is an undisputed champion. But today we have a competition. Today we have not one but two contenders for the crown of the best overall high extraction filter basket here. We're going to put my Waffle against mischief filter basket and against pedantry coffee lab filter basket so what i'm going to do today first just few words about each of those baskets then we do a blind tasting as we normally do on this channel i will have three shots on the rotating plate underneath each cup there will be a number number one for waffle number two for mischief number three for pcl i will see if i can spot which is which those are high extraction baskets so it's worth to check the extraction percentage we're going to do that and then i will talk about my experience with those three filter baskets because you cannot really judge anything just by one shot so exciting video if you're as excited as myself definitely click like sit tight and enjoy so waffle so spirit great looking basket from taiwan this is my first high extraction basket that i bought weights 48 grams it has 2916 holes to be precise and as i said this has been so far my favorite i always enjoyed how much depth i'm getting in the flavor notes from this basket how many extra nuances i can discover because of this basket take some adjustments it takes some time to get used to it but yes you can get very very good shots the only problem here is the price of this basket i had a pleasure of talking with mr waffle on the phone very clever gentleman he is a coffee hobbyist coffee enthusiast like we all are but he also uses his professional time to invent things like the the, the filter baskets he tried to justify the costs how much steel they use a good quality material materials the laser that they use to produce those holes apparently it costs like 1.6 million dollars and so on and like with everything when you have something popular bringing some good income then there will be all the baskets trying to emulate i think i even tried one fake waffle before but this one this is a mischief filter basket when you look at them side by side you may notice some differences the waffle it kind of narrows slightly to the end this one it looks that straight but at the bottom the number of holes pretty much the same 2912 spread all over to the edges you can notice the quality difference when you have them in hand mischief basket weights 38 grams in the box you also get some uh, filter papers but today i'm going to use filter baskets without any additional things and the third contender pedantry coffee filter basket just look at the box you already see well something of a quality and then you take it into your hand first thing you notice the weight of this basket 51 grams so it's the heaviest basket of them all here compare it with the waffle this one again straight to the edges very thick and what's also interesting it comes with those two pack screens i guess you could put one at the top one at the bottom of the filter basket those extra thin pack screens are worthy of another video unfortunately i don't have any details about this basket by the way big thank Thank you to Wilson from Malaysia for helping me to forward those baskets here in UK. Mischief possibly you can get, but this PCL, it's well, it's extremely difficult. Even in China, there was a waiting list for this one. If it wasn't for Wilson, I wouldn't have it. Through him, I tried to contact the producer. We didn't get any response. I don't even know what's the number of holes in this basket. Again, they are spread it all over to the edges. I will give you a few seconds just to count them if you want to. I would say 2000, possibly more. Oh, who knows the problem with this basket is that because it's so big it's very very difficult <laughs> to squeeze it into the porta filter so let's do some practical tests now first the water flow just without any coffee in maybe you will be able to spot some differences Okay, and now is the time to do the proper taste test. I'm going to use Lamarzocco Liva style profile on descent. 18 grams of coffee in, but today 39 grams of liquid out. Because those glasses are small, normally I like to use a little bit more, especially with those high extraction baskets. And the coffee, we need some coffee. I fancy something natural. Today this coffee from a Caravan Coffee Roasters. I'm going to use Cafe Tech Flat Max 2 as a grinder today. I want to showcase all those flavor notes. I want to magnify 
identify all the differences. We will see what kind of time difference we can get between those three baskets. If necessarily, obviously, I will redial. I will accept no more than two seconds difference between each of those shots. One last thing to remember here is that those shots, they won't look pretty, okay? Those are high extraction baskets. We can expect coffee flowing from all over. So if you have delicate disposition, just avert your eyes now. Okay, and three shots already. The extraction, they looked horrible, especially with the mischief. Wherefore, we can accept. I warned you that that's what you should expect from those high extraction baskets. I mean, I can get some nice shots from Wafo, especially when I use conical grinders. With mischief, sometimes I manage to get a nice looking shot, sometimes not. With PCL, I would never, and I tried maybe 20 times, I've never managed to get a good looking shot. Now, on the same grind settings, the shots took about the same. This is a very unscientific method, but we can assume that they possibly have similar number of holes. I lower the temperature of the last shot slightly, just so they're not immediately obvious. I pull them in a quick succession anyway. I mixed all of them. Now I'm going to choose one at random, take a sip, choose another one, take a sip, choose another one. I will wash my mouth in between and then I will share with you my findings. Okay, like with most of my assumptions, I, I was expecting a clear and obvious difference between uh, all of those three baskets. Now I have to say immediately, well done to those fake baskets. All three shots are in the range of very very nice spectrum of flavors. This shot slightly less juicy but because of that reduced sourness I'm getting some nice nuances here. So I'm not calling a loser today but this will be my least favorite shot for today. So let's reveal what basket it is and that is... what is it? It's, it's number two. Okay, so that's the mischief. Very intriguing shot. For the moment, I thought I would choose this one as a winner. So that's a statement by itself. But because it lost that juiciness, that's why it came last. Okay, so we are left here with uh, two shots. Very nice and very juicy. This is more like a pomegranate juice, so uh, more sourness. This is more like a winey juicy flavor, so kind of a sweetness in that juiciness. In terms of taste, I would say possibly a draw, but if I had to choose, I would go for this one here. Let's reveal the shot that won today. Wow! Okay, okay, it's Waffle. It's Waffle again, but this is the first time the Waffle meta competition that it's up to the game. Each of those shots could win today, and I am honestly surprised. I'm going to put refractometer readings on a screen right now. I won't see them till the end of this video. I have to wait till the shots cool down. Guys, if you are still here, definitely click like, subscribe to the channel, plenty more things coming. If you like to see me getting over caffeinated, click the notification button so you won't miss a thing. You may also join the membership club if you want to support the channel this way so wow I am honestly I am surprised today I was not expecting that three baskets one extremely expensive and two relatively cheap although very difficult to get all three very good today that mischief basket gave the shot with very interesting details but it was less vibrant that was the only fault of this shot but with my my previous experience with this basket I often get that increased level of harshness in the shots maybe that paper filter would help I don't know now that PCL filter basket it reminds me a bit of the Weber workshop filter basket I had it at some point but possibly with more extraction it extracts really really nicely maybe slightly too sour the shot was today very vibrant very satisfying it fits the style of coffee that I like and the waffle basket it consistently gives me extremely good shots if you're looking for a one and only filter basket even though it costs so much it will change the way you think about the coffee especially if you like those light roast coffees vibrant shots full of extra flavor Flavors. But if you are looking for substitution, well, you found two now. PCL and the Mischief Baskets. Very good baskets. Very good baskets indeed. If you had a chance to try any of them, or if you tried any other high extraction filter baskets you think we should try, let me know in the comments. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show, and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye! <laughs>